In this video, we're going to focus on how we can hide, for example, our legend plugin. We show a title plugin, but also make some custom plugins here. And right now, these custom plugins will just show a console log. So let's start to explore how we can work with multiple plugins. So let's start with how to hide the legend and add plugins in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to get a border template. So we go to Chart.js 3 Come getting started this specific link here, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code here. Copy this, and if you want to understand what this code all does, make sure you watch this video here, which explains it all. Paste all of that in there, cut out this, and then we're going to put that in here. Say, refresh. All right, we have this. Let's maximize the size of this to 80%. Save, refresh. So the confusion here is regarding to plugins or basically the plugins object. So for example, here after the scales, I'm going to put a comma here and I'm going to say plugins. And here we could, for example, hide the items here. So we say here uh, plugins, let's say here legend, and we say here display equals false. And many are might be confused. If you have this, how would we add up plugins, a custom plugin that we made, how do we add them up in here? So let me show you exactly how. Basically, this plugins object, uh, object is within the options. So after the options, here put a comma, enter, and now you say here plugins, we would indicate we have still specific plugins object. And then we have here the array value. Because it's an array, what we could do, we could add multiple plugins in here. So let's say here this would be uh, BG color or something like that. I will not use or I will not create any plugin, but I'll just give you some examples. And I say here, uh, other plugin. So if I save this right now, I make sure we have a comma here because these are just uh, constant values or objects as well. So if I save this, refresh, it gives us an error. And the reason why it gives an error is not because we have a mistake here, or at least we have no reference to this uh, BG color and this other constant variable. So what I can do here, uh, let's put in here, I'll just say here, slash uh, this plugin block, and then I'm going to say constant color, BG color, and then here we can do ID, and I'll just make it very basic, put in the same here, and then you say here, before draw, we do here something, in this case, I will just do a console log, nothing else. We just say your console log, and I'll make sure I will say yeah, hello number one or plugin one doesn't matter. Then the next thing what I will do is I'll just copy this, and then I'm going to grab here the other plugin, put that in there, there, and we say here hello number two, and we can do this maybe after draw after everything has been drawn, we will do this. Save, refresh. If we open up developer tab, as you can see here now we have is here. What we could do here as well, I could change this one just quickly. Save, and you will see here the difference between before and after draw. You can see here the order, instead of number one first, it will show number two. And of course, the reason for that is because we have here, before we draw everything, we will first put in this, and after we draw the entire chart, chart area and chart uh, canvas, then at the very end, we will draw this one here. That's why you have these order. Anyway, that is slightly different items, but, the focus here, this is how we can do this one. If we put in here comma, we can say your title. The display true. And then text um, hello123. Save. Refresh. There we are. So now we can add up items. We can remove plugins within the options. But also, we have a separate plugins here for adding custom plugins. So this is very important to understand. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to create a real plugin where we customize and do something very interesting, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this video here on how to create a donut chart with labels outside with connecting line in Chart.js.